Let you sit down here. I'll turn around a little bit. Thanks for doing this. Yeah, that's all right. So I'm here with actor Ted White, famously known for playing Jason Voorhees. How are you doing? I'm fine. Having a great time. We've got a lot of great people here. I wish you people were here. You've played one of the most iconic killers in horror history, Jason Voorhees. How do you get in the right headspace, or how did you get in the right headspace to play a mass murderer? Really and truly, it wasn't a matter of getting it into my head. Okay. It was a matter of what the script had written. But I also did a few other things that I felt Jason should do. In fact, have I got a moment to tell you what happened? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. The very first shot, I was chasing the girl from one building to another at night in the rain. I had never seen a Friday the 13th. From what I understood, it was a kind of a Morse call off walk. When we shot it, I started running and chasing the girl, and the director said, Cut, what's going on? And I said, what are you talking about? He said, well, why were you running? I said, well, because I was trying to catch the girl. He said, well, Jason doesn't do that. And I said, why? I'm not hurt. I'm, I'm a big physical guy. That's why you hired me. The producer was Mancusco Jr. He was watching. He came over and he said, what's going on here? He said, well, you see what Ted did? He ran after the girl. He said, I think that's the best part of it. That was great. Let's continue with it. She spiced it up a little bit. Yeah, I spiced it up. A little. Not a lot, but a little bit, you know. <laughs> Now, a lot of people say that horror films create violence in real life. I don't know how they judge that. Where is there any place in the world that takes all those figures and puts them together and says, horror films create violence in other parts of the world? I don't exactly. know if that's ever been proven. You have the history. Damn, it feels good to be a gangster. Of being a gentle giant. What are some of your fondest memories from the final chapter set? Well, I think one of them is uh, the fact that I was working with a bunch of young kids. There's just a very few of them had ever done a film before. And I'm not saying in a braggadocious way. I did major motion pictures all my life. Okay. John Wayne, Clark Gable, Victor Mature, Rock Hudson. And uh, I always work with professionals. All of a sudden, I'm working with a bunch of guys and girls that I'd only work sometimes one movie, sometimes none of them. They were eager to learn and they wanted to learn. And to me, that was a great accomplishment to be able to work with them and watch them graduate, you might say. How did you go from doing those major motion pictures to a Friday the 13th film? <laughs> I had just finished the major motion picture back in 84, and I got a call to come down and read for a company. I didn't even know what company it was, not the studio. I went down and read, and I read for the part of the policeman. And there were four or five other guys that read. And after about 30 minutes, the guys left, and they called me back in and said, Ted, we're going to go with you. And I said, well, that's wonderful. I said, the part of the policeman? And they said, no, the part of Jason. And I, oh, said, well, wow. I said, well, Jason, he doesn't do anything but kill people. And I said, you know what? I got sons that have kids, and I don't want to see their grandpa killing all these people, so I'm going to have to pass. And that afternoon, the prop man that works Short on the show called me and said, I hear you were at the studio today. And I said, yeah, that's what happened. And I said, well, they offered me a part of Jason, but I turned it down. And he said, Ted, you're going to be on hold for six weeks while they make a plastic cast of your body. But when you're on hold in the merchant book, you're going to show on full size. And I'm like, well, I picked up the phone and said, you know what, I'm pretty not busy. I think I'll take a So that's how I got And now it's iconic. You see all these people here coming to see you. I mean, Well, you get a very big head when you see all these people coming to your desk and getting pictures and so forth. But I enjoy it. I enjoy talking to the people because they're the nicest people in the world right now. They really do the are. Did you ever expect like one one movie and playing Jason to create this at horror conventions? Never in a million years. Yeah. You know when I finished it, when I finished number four, uh -huh. about four months later I got a call to do five and six. I was already on another show and I couldn't take it. Wow. So, yeah, do you do you wish that you would have been able to do those? I wish I had, I would have been a cane hotter. If you could have been in any other film franchise, let's say like Halloween, Nightmare on Elm Street, anything like that, which one would you choose? I'm not familiar with the other shows. I haven't seen them. Wow. I'm really happy. I'm being honest. Damn, it feels good to be a gangster. So last question. You said at a previous Horror Hound convention that that was your final appearance. All right. What brought you back? Well, excuse me. 
I had decided that I had reached the age of 80, pretty laid back. 87. Okay. It was time to retire completely from the business. Right. I'm not rich, but I'm very comfortable. Mm -hmm. So I told him this would be my last one. I don't need to do this anymore. That's it. I have a website. That website got so flooded within one week. I couldn't answer the, the different people that had called. Please come back. Please come back. And this went on for nearly a year. My agent called me and uh, said, Ted, I think you better come out of retirement. These people are wondering where you are, why you quit, and so forth. So I said, well, I'll come out, but only want to do one or two a year. That's the total truth, and that's what I do. Okay, there you have it. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Well, thank you so much. I think it's, this is very cool. A uh, cool moment for me. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. I hope that didn't break your camera. <laughs>